Hello folks, the question today is question number 17, uh, 2020, February March session, uh, paper 1-2. And the uh, uh, question is related to the chapter of um, work energy power. Work energy power. So it says that an object is moved in a vertical plane from X to Y. X to Y, X to Y vertical plane, then from Y to Z, Y to Z as shown in the diagram. The distance between various points are indicated on the diagram. So we have x y equal to 3 meters, x to z is 5 plus 5, 10 meters, x to v is uh, 4 plus 4, 8 meters, and so on. So they look like two congruent triangles. Lines x y, uh, x y, and v z are vertical. The object weighs uh, uh, 20 newton. newton. Of course, how much uh, gravitational potential energy does the object gain by moving from x to z? So it moves from here to here. But the initial is x and final is z. So we have to find the increase in the gravitational potential energy. So the simple formula is the change in gravitational potential energy is equal to mg into delta h. Delta h. So what is the change in the height? So that's equal to mg is equal to 20. So this whole thing is equal to 20 into the change in height from x to z is x to z is 3 meters only 3 meters this 5 this 5 this 4 4 does not count even this 3 does not count initial is x finally is z and the difference in height is 3 meters so equal to 3 so that becomes 23 is a 60 joules so all these distances have been uh, given to uh, baffle us a, lot, uh, a bit uh, so uh, trying to confuse us let us say uh, so that uh, uh, so that uh, it can separate uh, uh, talented and uh, uh, thinking students from those who just cram or uh, cram or mug it up. So the uh, the difference in height is the crucial thing. So that's why difference in height compared to the initial is delta H, which is three meters. So 60 joules is the correct answer. So choice number A is the correct choice.